I'd like to start with some very good news. Um, you know, we often cite the Google Temasek study. Um, this is a 2021 study, very recent, that said, and this is an exact slide, which says that the Philippines is the fastest growing um, market in, in, in Southeast Asia. Um, the, the Philippines is the fastest growing internet economy in Southeast Asia. Um, and, and the thing that is um, uh, very relevant in this particular um, study by Google is that um, the, 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 the internet economy has, has doubled to 17 billion. You, our earlier, um, our earlier, um, uh, uh, our earlier um, target, this has exceeded our earlier targets. So these are driven largely by government initiatives um, and mass digital ad adoption due to the pandemic. So we, we really would, this confirms um, basically yung pong ginagawa ng, ng government relative to the promotion of e commerce in the Philippines. Go ahead, next slide please. Um I I I we as a matter of context we'd like to compare of we compare what uh, e-commerce adoption is from from 2019 before the pandemic and um and today. Um so basically if you notice that in 2019 um, our e-commerce adoption, meaning those who buy and sell online, is uh, below the global average. But uh, in 2021, we are in fact um, one uh, in the top 10 uh, countries whose uh, e-commerce adoption has increased above the global average. So um, this really points to the fact that all of us, uh, many people that you know, you would know already that either they buy online or they sell online because especially during the pandemic where we really had no choice during the lockdown. So we, we uh, the pandemic literally accelerated the adoption of e-commerce. Next slide, please. Um, so this is the slide I always, lagi ko po tong ginagamit because it provides a little bit of context. And I always uh, like to show this slide because not many people know that, of course, ang population po natin ay 111 million. Pero mas marami po tayong mobile connection kesa po sa um, population. And as you know, baka sa many of those who are listening here today, you have two phones or two, uh, meron na kayong iPad, meron pa kayong iPhone. Uh, so lahat po ito, mas marami po talaga ang mobile connection sa, sa population. Pag ganyan po, it also makes sense, therefore, that we have 76 million internet users. And this is one, um, ito po yung one of my favorite um, um, uh, statistic that uh, not many people know. Na ang Pilipinas po, rank number one. Number one po tayo sa social media at saka sa average, sa average daily time use ng mga nag internet So, we spend 10 hours in the internet, internet average time. And then, ang social media naman po ay 4 hours. Nandyan po ang Pilipinas, ang mga Pilipino on top of the rank. And what does that mean for e-commerce? Of course, if you are spending more time in the internet, then likely, no, you are the, kayo po yung audience, kayo po yung market ng mag e-commerce. So that's what we're saying, that we believe that um, e-commerce is here to stay and it will grow exponentially. Um, uh, we, when we talk of e-commerce, we also uh, have to note that e-commerce and digital payments no that's also one thing that we are very strongly advocating for so we have more i mean uh, because of the banco central efforts and we are supportive of the banco central so we have more bank um and also a little bit of some good news again that maybe not many people know this but internet speed has likewise um improved um uh, makikita po ninyo to sa screen and Siyempre ho, wala hong e-commerce kung walang internet. Ho? So that's really the importance. So, so um, I hope that this sort of uh, provides uh, a landscape of, of what e-commerce in the Philippines is about. 